How to create a color-coded calendar. This type of calendar will give you calendar items with different colors, which are dependent upon the categories. So the first step is to go into the calendar, click on the calendar tab, and create a new view. And we'll base it on the existing view, the existing calendar view. We'll call it color coded and scroll down to the filter. Select show items only when the following is true and select the category column. So when the category is equal to none, none is the default category for all items when they are created. And so if you had left your item blank, it would default to none. All right, scroll down and click OK. And go back to the calendar. And what we have here is you can see that the color coded is here. You're going to create a number of other views and each view will be based on the category. So let's create a new one from existing from the color coded. And another one we'll have is staff. So scroll down. The only difference here is you change the category to staff. Be careful with the spelling because if you misspell this, then none of your items will appear for this category. All right, so click OK. And let's keep doing that for a few more. So let's just base it on color coded again to athletics. And let's just do one more for uh, our testing or our demonstration purposes. Okay, now you go into back into your the color coded category. Click on calendars overlay. And click on the new calendar. And let's do staff. Now you right here under web URL is where you have to get the URL of that um, that view that you had created. So we'll just do a duplicate tab and we'll go to the calendar view and then open up your staff and then we we'll copy that URL paste it in here click resolve see now this would appear we'll select under list view click staff click always show and you can choose your colors here and those are the only colors that are available to you Let's do purple.
and we'll keep adding the other calendars And now that you've added the three categories that you've you have, click OK. And so on the side here, let's you know what. Let me change athletics to a different color because it is uh, the same as the first category, which is the none one. Let's go back. We don't want two categories to have the same color. That would be confusing. Okay, so there you are. I, I believe March is the month where they actually have many types, so you can clearly see the uh, many categories, or the three categories that we have so far. Okay, and you, if you like this view, you can set it as the default view by going to your list settings, going down to color coded, and selecting make this the default view. And click OK. That way when you go to the site contents, you click on calendar, that becomes the view that you get. So a frequent question that I get is how do I change the categories? To do that, go to the calendar tab, go, go to your list settings, and scroll down to the columns, and under columns, find category, click on the category link, and here, go down to column settings and under here is where you can type in new categories one on each line or you can modify anything that's there but again make sure that when you create views that select that filter out uh, these categories that the, those categories match the ones that are created here all right and that is it thank you for watching. So a frequent question that I get is how do I change the categories? To do that, go to the calendar tab, go, go to your list settings, and scroll down to the columns, and under columns find category, click on the category link, and here, go down to the column settings. And under here is where you can type in new categories. One on each line, or you can modify anything that's there. But again, make sure that when you 
create views that select that filter out uh, these categories that the, those categories match the ones that are created here all right and that is it thank you for watching